This will be a short tutorial on how to set up Ultra Pico Keyer on Windows 10. We're using the line input jack this time instead of the mic input. And here's what it sounds like with the filter. The filter is called M Bandpass and it's a VST plugin, free. So it looks very clean, sounds really good. Now let's bypass the filter. We'll turn it down so it doesn't blow your ears out. Now here's the uh, what it sounds like. Yeah, you can see there's lots of harmonics. We'll turn it back up, turn it off. Okay, so I had to get this plug in. Well, you need a VST host, and we're using Jack Audio, and we're using Carla as the VST host, which is part of the KX Studios Jack apps. And we have the line input is number one coming in to the MPAM pass. I'm using this so I can turn the volume down when I bypassed it so it didn't create a ton of noise and not too high of a volume if you were wearing headphones. And this is just the uh, plug-in so you can see the spectrum. So we're sending it to the video recorder here in, at 13 and 14 and my sound card is 1 and 2. Up here is my microphone plugins and this is uh, for desktop audio so it's really really simple uh, once you approach the learning curve for jack audio there'll be some notes in, in the uh, below the video here about jack audio and how to get that set up it's well worth the effort another thing that's really nice about this setup is synchronous audio router so that you can name your own you can create and name your own virtual audio cables however many you want. Then when you bring this up, they'll all show up here inside Jack Audio. So I've got FL Digi, CW Type. We've got the screencast recording. We've got Mumble. You can hit you can put Skype, you can name it whatever you want, and however many you want you can put in here. And this is just another one of KX Studios applications, Katia. So again to review all you have to do is find the right plugin, and I'd recommend M Bandpass, the free setup from Melda, the Melda plugins. You download those, install those, and, and it'll install them automatically. Then in uh, Carla here, let's take a look at the engine. Here's how I have it set up. We're using Jack as the audio driver, multiple clients. Then in the paths, go to uh, VST. And tell it, you know, just add one if you don't see it here. So mine is right here. The 64-bit plugins that I'm using, program files, VST plugins. That's the same file that uh, Melda will install those VST plugins. Once you've done that, then all you have to do is refresh, and then it'll scan those folders, all those folders that you uh, showed in Carla, and they'll show up in here. So. If if we wanted to demonstrate, we hit Melda M Band B A, and there it is. Just start it up, and there it is right there. C click Add. It'll show up on the rack here, and there it is right here. Just click this gear icon, and it'll bring this up. Click Enable, and this is how I have it set: frequency high and low in the slope. I have it set at 60. And the span is useful too if you wanted to view the spectrum. That'll be in the show notes too. Download that to the same folder you do for M -band Pass, And when uh, Carla scans for it, it'll get them both. That's the basic setup here, how to get the Ultra Piker, Pico Keyer uh, set up for Windows 10 and to get it filtered with all free software. Thanks for watching.